everyone, it's Raul with R&D Moving Store Supplies. We're back with another video. And again, we're coming into our beautiful book. Um, they're, I would say, more like a manual. Uh, very straightforward uh, reading, easy reading, fun reading. Word has it you're moving, where moving is no joke. And we even have little pictures of little, ki little kitties in there. That's a picture of little Rocky. So, um, a fun book. Uh, and we wrote it, as we mentioned before in previous videos, because people have, uh, in, in so many ways, have no idea what they're doing. Uh, sometimes when it comes to uh, what they pack, how they should pack it, what material, what the products they need, uh, and including, should I use a mover? How do I find a mover? Should I use a real estate agent? How do I find a real estate agent? And we're going to tackle the last portion. How to find a real estate agent. Uh, when it comes to selling your home, uh, a lot of people just go to, actually most people I think, just go through newspapers and advertisements and they fall for the first smile. A uh, smiling real estate agent that promises the world and they go for it. Now it's been really cool the last few years, right? Because it's been a very hot market. Uh, price wars, uh, everybody selling above, above asking, above, above asking price for their originally asking for the home. It's been a beautiful seller's market. Not only a seller's market, but a hot seller's market. I think the hottest we ever seen. So it's been kind of great, right? Uh, so it's naturally, it's, it's easy to just pick an agent. But under normal conditions where you actually don't, things are not so hot, that's where the true is good agents shine through. And in that case, you cannot just go to a newspaper and look for somebody. You may find the right agent, then chances are you will. But very likely, you're going to find an agent who's not going to be thinking about you. It's going to be thinking about the commission, which most of them do, by the way. Most of the agents come in thinking they see a 5% written across your head, and they see that beautiful number, the, the, big, the big payday coming in, the big, the big commission check coming in, okay? But when, if an agent just does that, chances are you, uh, things are not going to work out for you. You want to find an agent that thinks about you, about you, about getting the price you want, and the conditions you decide. Uh, Conditions are not always um, optimum because uh, obviously both sides have requests, but the agent should push as much as possible for what you want, okay? Not just think about the commission, you should think about you because as long as you get what you want, they get what they want. Um, I find I'm a real, estate, a real estate investor as well, by the way, and I have a lot of experience with agents. I find a, little, a lot of real estate agents don't think that way. They just have an agent. They, their aim basically is to get a, a seller on the hook, like they're fishing, and they want to buy a buyer. They get a buyer on the hook. The moment the, moment the buyer is on the hook, they're having a, a heyday. And uh, at the end of the day, you're going to have to have a struggle with this agent. So you want to find an agent that thinks about you first and foremost, okay? Getting your price as close as possible to what you want under your conditions. That's the, what you should be looking for in an agent. Now, looking for an agent, a lot of people either go through newspapers or I think as I mentioned, or they uh, uh, look through ads, uh, smiling ad across the bus or in the bus stop, or they find all kinds of ways to advertise to you. Uh, that's also a bit, a bit, a bit dangerous when you do that. The, the most, the most, the most effective way of finding a good agent is through history. And history, I mean, history of the past sales. And past sales, the best way of finding history is through uh, references. Ask the agent. If you find an agent that 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 appeals to you, ask for references, at least ten references, and then talk to these people. It's your money. It's a big, uh, like the big paycheck you're going to give out at the end of the, the sale. Some houses sell for three, for used to be $150,000, $200,000. Now it's in sometimes in millions. So it's a big paycheck. A million dollars is $50,000 50, paycheck they're going to be getting, right? So it's $50,000 out of your pocket. So ask this agent for references and then go through the references and then find out what the, uh, how the performance. If they think about the, the, the seller, which is you, not just about getting a buyer, if they think of getting the price you want and fighting for you instead of just holding on to this buyer on the hook, then that's somebody you should worth, worth, worth hiring. Most real estate agents, uh, uh, I wouldn't say just by name, because there's Remax, there's so many companies out there. Uh, 
and this this good on all companies have good agents and some companies have uh, most of the agents are great but on your for you it doesn't matter what company it is the first and foremost thought should be i want you to fight for me get the price i want under the conditions that i require so that i can sell my home and be satisfied with the sale and obviously the agent wins at the end he gets paid he gets a higher commission obviously he gets a satisfied customer like you, and I'm sure your word is going to be used in the future for a few for other other uh, customers. A lot of real estate agents don't even have to give references because they have such a track record that everybody spreads their name. Most people that come to see us, they are happy with the sale. They blur their their real estate agent's name really quickly. Who they used and so on. They're so satisfied. Some real estate agents, like I said, is about me, me, me. They really don't think about. Uh, rewarding the customer um, they basically walk away at the end of the deal uh, you hand them fifty thousand dollar let's say a million dollar home fifty thousand and they pretty much just walk away or give you a bottle of wine or a, like we heard of a, comp a, a customer that came to see us they, they got a, a pumpkin pie <laughs> which is something really little um, good we find that real estate agents real estate agents that deal with us that continuously get business they reward the customer and i mean they really reward the customer uh, they show up uh, at the um, closing date they uh, offer to help move some of them by moving by the movers some of them by stagers uh, for the the buyer so that that makes makes uh, makes uh, but, 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 sorry they buy the staging services in order to encourage uh, the buyer to encourage the sale other real estate agents we have a lot what we deal with a lot here is uh, moving kits where we assemble a, a kit of boxes and a whole bunch of supplies that uh, helps the customer declare their home before they even do uh, begin to the start the sale and others uh, as soon as the, sale, the home is sold the, the agent hands them this nice gift with a lot of boxes and a lot of supplies so they can start the packing. So, uh, and others obviously buy, uh, they buy beautiful gifts for the customers. And they, they're with the customer from the moment they sign the contract, which by the way, a lot of uh, real estate agents give this book to their agents, to their customers, because it helps the customer, educates the customer from the moment they decide to move until they unpack on the other side. So the, the, these agents, they, they, they sort of become part of uh, sort of a family member from the moment they start, or they, uh, they sign the contract, to the moment they finish. And others even stay further. Six months, a year, they're still checking out things. You need anything. Other real estate agents uh, find the right lawyers. They find uh, pretty, pretty much like it's just as if they take you in this platter and walk along with you all along. They carry such so much experience and they have such a, a amount of contacts and such a lineup of efficient people that the customer is just selling a home is a breeze. And at the end, it's like stress free. Those are the real, uh, real estate, uh, real estate the, the good real estate agents. Because they're not just thinking about their paycheck. They're thinking they're building a business. In other words, customer service is the number one thing. That's a real estate agent you need. Someone like that. Someone that thinks of you. From the moment you sign the contract to the moment you are in your, in your new home. So a lot of our customers not only use the, this agent to sell this home, but they use the same agent to buy their new home. So this agent got, in some cases, two commissions. Two commissions, because some of these 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 uh, other homes that get sold are also being listed by the same agent. So this agent gets two commissions. Other real estate agents, the 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 ones that are not so good, make the sale, no problem. They got it. They have a commitment. They have a contractual a contractual uh, uh, obligation with with a customer. So they they get to sell the home. But that's the end of it. At the end, as soon as they, they, they sign, they, they go to the lawyer, pick up the check, that agent dies on the spot. I mean, die, meaning the, the, the business, connect the business relationship. So uh, it's important. The agents, uh, the, the really good agents, they know that. And they will sort of enter, be part of the family from the moment they sign the contract to the moment they, they, this customer is in their new home and they're satisfied all the way. 
and um, they know also that it's stressful to be on the other on, uh, the new home. Like you stay into the new home, now you need to call new 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 uh, sign contracts for for the heating uh, uh, the heating tanks, the 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 heat, water heaters. You need to get bell. You need to get I mean phone connection, cable connection, all these things. And this agent stays with them all the way with all these uh, these experience, all these companies with companies they deal with. So it makes, the, makes the, the, the customer's experience of selling this home, buying the other one and entering there, a breeze. So in conclusion, yeah, that's a real estate, the type of real estate agent you need. So when you look for a real estate agent, sure, great smile, no problem, great advertising, good, you tell me you're gonna do uh, miracles for me, no problem, now give me references. And that is the number one, the most important way to do it, is finding true references, and I don't mean just one or two. And I don't mean uh, reviews, because everybody loves reviews, and I'm not sure if you're aware, there's a lot of companies out there that you actually can pay them to have bots, I mean the little robot, uh, robot software bots, to write all kinds of reviews. And you can be fooled, but you cannot fool anyone through experience, because all these customers, I will tell you the actual experience, they are solid. One or two, sure, lucky agent, whatever. But when it comes to 10 or more, uh, it's not a fake. That means the real estate agent is, is for real. They mean business. He or she, okay? In our case, we have a lot of she's, because they, uh, I'm not sure about what's with the uh, females. They, I guess the level of efficiency, they uh, they perform in the jobs. But there are a lot of she's we get that keep getting listing after listing after listing after listing. And they are phenomenal. They, they are really good agents okay i hope this was helpful uh, if you like these videos uh, subscribe to our channel any questions any comments post them below and uh, we'd love to hear from you and if you have any suggestions regarding this video or anything that we might want a more clearing clearing on or if you want to post your own comments or have anything to say about this we'd appreciate it okay thank you so much for watching look forward to seeing you next time bye bye